everybody welcome to my channel healthy lifestyle a to c this is lenny smith and we'll be sharing healthy fast and easy recipes with you stay tuned today's recipe is going to be gluten-free egg crepes with bean sauce mine are gluten-free because i made them with cassava crepes that i had made during the week i love uh, making things with cassava and they're healthier Here's a list of ingredients you're going to need. And this is for eight crepes. One pound dry beans or one can three pound cooked beans. Eight eggs, they can be organic or pasture raised. Half onion chopped. Eight crepes, as I mentioned, mine are cassava or you can use the corn tortillas. One avocado, fruit yogurt or Mexican cream or sour cream salt to taste and olive oil to saute. What I do first is I, I make my beans if I'm not going to use the canned beans. That is much faster but um, I like making everything fresh. So what I do is I wash the dry beans and then I select them. I put them in the pressure cooker with salt and a little bit of olive oil. Then they're ready. Scramble your eggs, add a little bit of water, it makes them fluffier, and add salt to taste. Preheat the pan with the olive oil. For the eggs, I'm just making two at a time. Once they're ready, set them aside, blend the beans. I have a Vitamix, I love it. It looks really great. Get a pan, add some olive oil, saute the onion, until it changes color. Add the bean sauce. You're going to cook it for a little while until it has bubbles and you're going to turn it up. Stir it because you don't want it to get stuck on the bottom. I forgot to mention you can make it with black beans or pinto beans. Now you're going to warm up your crepes or your tortillas, depending on what your selection was. Once it's soft, you're going to start making your crepes. Get a plate and start building it. Put your crepe and then add the scrambled eggs. I made two. Once you have your crepes, then you're just gonna pour the bean sauce on top of it as much as you want. I added some Greek yogurt and some avocado. I like to put some salt on top of my avocado because the flavor is totally different when you, when you add salt. And enjoy. It really tastes good. You have different options. Uh, you can put some green sauce or red sauce on top of it if you want. I invite you to like, subscribe, and share with your friends and family. Thank you for watching. See you next time and stay tuned.